Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Trisket Squid King. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, it's not Geeky Sparkle. She's busy working on the house. Yeah, maintenance mama. Maintenance mama. So we're going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV. Geeky Spackles. <laughs> Geeky Spackles. We're going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV and how they're changing icons because of trypophobia, which is a thing, I guess. It's it's a fear of tiny holes, and if it sounds familiar to those of you who have uh, followed the channel for a while, that's because the Xbox Series X was also triggering people because it's got it's got too many holes. So uh, Square is changing icons now because they don't want to freak people out. Which I mean, fair enough. I, I guess I'm just kind of like this is so weird because I I never really heard of it much until the last year or two. Uh, now all of a sudden, all these little holes are scaring people, and I'm like, "Have you seen some of the, the the monsters in Final Fantasy? Have you seen some of the the bosses and the I don't know." Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about Final Fantasy 14 and and um, how it's it's getting a reputation now for being the World of Warcraft killer, which probably isn't gonna take much given the utter state of Blizzard these days. Yeah, it's uh, it's more like a light snowstorm. Yeah, yeah, a squall. Is that what that's called? A squall, yeah. Well, we're talking about square, so. Fair enough. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 229,000 subs. Uh, that's like a moderately sized city. It is. Uh, it's the, the city of the reef. Steveville. Oh, Steveville. Those, neither of those sound like good names. We need no. a better name. All right, uh, we do, we, we do. So this is coming from Niche Gamer. Uh, I, I thought this was weird. This is actually from a week ago, but I didn't see this anywhere else. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV icon was changed because it scared players with trypophobia. Uh, they announced that they changed this icon because it was scaring players. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV icon was changed for the Sage class, a new class arriving with the upcoming Endwalker expansion. Uh, here's a comparison between the original and the new icon. The original had these little holes in it, and now the holes are gone. I will say, <laughs> I think, I don't know. That feels like a very lazy fix. You know what I mean? That looks like a mobile app. Uh, yeah, like the, the one on the left, I think, looks more uniform. I feel like keeping one of them the same on the right might not have been the best decision. I don't know. So complaints seem to have mostly come from the official Japanese forums for Final Fantasy XIV, where a discussion of the design and how it grossed out some users accumulated to, uh, 24 pages at the time of writing. The level of discussion clearly got a response out of Square Enix, who promptly filled in those holes. When we released new details for Sage and Reaper on the special site, we also included their icons. Game producer, uh, the game producer wrote a new update. <laughs> not even going to try to pronounce it. Naoki Yoshida. Uh, Naoki Yoshida. Yoshida uh, wrote in a new update, not thinking that they were particularly big reveals. However, we soon received feedback from players all over the world who told us the Sage icon made them uncomfortable or fearful. It does kind of look like a three-eyed monster. Sure. Not what I would have gotten out of it, but yeah. It's worth noting the original icon was meant to mimic that actual in-game the actual in-game weapons that Sages will use, which is four levitating blades that are indented with holes. The design concept is unchanged, Yoshida said, with the icon being based on the four uh, Nautiliths, which form the Sage's armament. The holes in the original design were added for detail, but they ended up appearing as a cluster. Uh, to address the problem, the new icon reduces the holes while accentuating... God, there's a lot of detail for a there's freaking icon. Like big words. While accentuating the design concept, now comparisons will inevitably be made. And some of you may prefer the original, but we believe that the designs like this are going to grow on you as you play the job and ask for your understanding as we head into Endwalker. Please forgive us for putting too many holes on the swords that have holes for yep. the class in the game that has a lot of monsters with a lot of little dots and eyes and 
Well, thank God. Rivets and... Big Daddy Yoshida was there to fill all those little holes. Big Daddy Yo. Yeah. Thank God he was there to fill all of our holes. I like, mean, all of the, the <laughs> holes. All of the holes. Not our holes. The holes. Square Enix only listens to the complaints in the Japanese section of the forum. It was the same thread, but in English on North American, they would have never changed the icon. Uh, that new icon is barely different than the old icon. Somehow that's okay. I think developers got trolled. Hilarious. They might have been. It might have been a trolling because... This was uh, memeable. This was Kotaku given an Xbox Series X to review. And most of the, uh, the review was talking about the reviewer's fear of holes. Give the machine to somebody who's not afraid of tiny holes. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And it's not like the design was a secret either. So don't you think they might have wanted to, like, you know, check the office to make sure they found somebody who wasn't horrified of holes? before they gave them a console to review that yeah. has a bunch of holes on it. That probably was intentional. It was probably but like, hey, who here doesn't like tiny I holes? I think that would require more than turn neurons firing off a Kotaku, so it's not possible. Yeah, so trypophobia, which is apparently the name of this, which I do not have this. I mean, I think, I think lots of little tiny holes sometimes are kind of weird looking, mm. but I'm not freaked out by them. Unless they're like tiny holes in flesh or something. That's... Oh my god. Everything you just said is going to be sound clipped so hard. Someone sound clip it, please. Tiny holes. Tiny holes. Well, you've been watching a lot of tiny house hunters lately. I so have been. So I'm going to talk about tiny house hunters. Yep. So I talked about it before. I like to see hipsters spend a ridiculous amount of money on sheds that are furnished. That's <laughs> basically what the show is pretty much watch this handlebar mustache guy watch him spend a half a million dollars on a furnished shed and laugh but sometimes the sheds are very nicely furnished sometimes they're very nice sheds yeah but they're they're tiny nonetheless and then if you find out that like that half million dollar house is like their their summer getaway yeah like oh this is just gonna be our our uh cheese barn our cheese tasting facility, you know, and then you find out they work at like a pizza shop or something. That's all of HGTV. And somehow they bought a half a million dollar shed to taste yeah. cheese. And yeah, anyway, this is a Final Fantasy video, everyone. It is. So what is trypophobia? Fear of disgusting, closely packed holes. No, that was actually me. I did that. But yeah, people are afraid of honeycombs, strawberries, coral. I'm afraid of coral because if it cuts you, it can grow inside you and turn you into like one of those monsters from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I don't think it works like that. I think it works pretty much like that. I, that's why I don't I think like... I skipped a few steps, like dying and getting cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, aluminum metal foam. Pomegranates. They're, they're awful. No Bubbles. pomegranates. Cantaloupe, a cluster of eyes. Warning. Warning, everybody. And I'm warning you. Warning. This contains graphic imagery. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, look at... Oh, my oh, God. Lord. That's disgusting. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. A poison dart. We're just going to throw a frog in there. A pomegranate. I thought it was cherry pie at first. I'm they like, do tiny... kind of look like cherry pies. Tiny pies. Tiny pies are horrifying. Bubbles. Bubbles will trigger you. Condensation will trigger you trigger you stingrays triggled. don't get triggled don't get triggled that's when you jiggle oh god stingrays and cluster of eyes actually cluster of eyes scares me yeah that, it's not natural no lots of little eyes i don't like that yeah. I, I really was freaked out by cobra commander when i was a kid because in the gi joe movie you finally find out what's under the mask and he's he's a blue dude with a bunch of eyes all over his face that's something and then they turn him into a snake with a bunch of eyes all over its face how fun yeah and he slithers away until they bring him back as a snake man without the eyes on his face it's really confusing anyway continuity in the 80s was just like a suggestion yeah so they're they're changing it uh because some people complained and it might have been a troll it might have been i i think it probably is a trolling because now you can tell people that you're upset about anything and they'll they'll change it you know yep I mean, I'm dead serious. I'm afraid of cotton. Like, that's not a joke. Like, this isn't, like, sarcasm. People are going to mail us cotton. I know they will now. But, like, I can't touch cotton balls. I don't know why. Like, when I touch cotton balls, like, my mouth instinctively opens and I want to gag. I don't know why. 
So oh, I can... that's because I pinned you down when you were a baby and stuffed a bunch of cotton balls in your mm. mouth. Okay, that actually would that tracks. Yeah. Um, but you don't see. No, me, I didn't. But actually. you don't see me writing the cotton people and being like, "Hey, if you put any more cotton in your Tylenol bottles, I will." I'm gonna talk smack on so many forms. Okay, so Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we've been talking about this. You've been playing it. I have been playing it. You haven't been playing very much of it, though. No, I'm only like 30 hours in, which is like one five hundredth of the way through the main story. Yeah, because there have been a lot of expansions, because this game is is old. It's a very old game. Uh, it's, it's what are we going, like 8, 10 years now? No so idea. It's It's been around for a while, and, and uh, there are a lot of updates. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's playing it because they're mad at Blizzard. For various reasons. Yep. The reasons of varying intensity. Yeah. So a lot of people jump and ship. Um, you know, and a lot of streamers are playing more Final Fantasy XIV. It's weird because I'm like, man, Final Fantasy XIV is getting a little long in the tooth. I, I honestly thought that that 16 was going to be another online one because it seems like they skip a couple games and they bring another online. I'm like, oh yeah, 16 will probably be online. Nah, 16 just looks boring. Oh, it does. I'm withholding opinions until the game comes out. It looks boring. It looks like every Western MMO RPG ever. Fair enough. It doesn't I'm really look Final Fantasy. I'm withholding opinions on that one. I'm giving opinions because that's what we do here, kid. That's what we do here. Uh, anyway, the director of Final Fantasy XIV hates that people think his game beat World of Warcraft. Uh, Yoshi P doesn't appreciate you being mean about World of Warcraft. He doesn't. Um, Yoshida doesn't appear to be keen on it. The director gave a rather thoughtful speech about the perceived rivalry between the two games in the 14-hour live stream earlier this month, which has very kindly been translated by uh, Bluest on, on YouTube. When told Final Fantasy XIV had been more popular than uh, World of Warcraft this year, Yoshida quickly clarified he didn't believe his game had beat Blizzard's. Blizzard is definitely aware of this, but without World of Warcraft, the Realm Reborn wouldn't exist. That probably is true. World of Warcraft was the game we constantly looked up to. He also showed his disapproval for the conversation surrounding which game is doing better, saying our goal was to recreate a Final Fantasy version of World of Warcraft. So saying we won or lost World of Warcraft is so off-base to begin with because they were the game we aspired to be. See, normally, I would totally agree with him here. I think that's a very well-thought-out statement. Unfortunately, Blizzard sucks. Blizzard blew itself up. So, honestly... If people want to say Final Fantasy XIV is better than World of Warcraft, I don't see a problem with it. Uh, yeah, so WoW peaked at 12 million, 12 million paid subscribers. There's no way Square Enix could compete with that. Yoshida compared WoW to Everest, saying that there is such a high number. Uh, it's completely beyond reach. He expressed gratitude for its own growth. Spurt saying, we're growing at a rate that uh, I'm even surprised by. It's kind of scary. But don't worry, World of Warcraft... Um, might not be long for this world at the rate they're going. I mean, we're talking people leaving Blizzard every day. Yeah. Stories coming out every day. I mean, I don't think World of Warcraft necessarily is going to go anywhere, but uh, I think 10 years from now, if the Blizzard brand is around, it's just going to be a brand and it's going to just be garbage tier mobile apps. Probably. That's the direction they were heading even before all oh, this yeah. happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Diablo. They're like, well, y'all got cell phones, right? That's what they should do. Well, Final Fantasy, I mean, all they do now is just crank out endless remakes of, you know, the first 12 games. <laughs> Except the 12th one. 12 got one. Oh, remake. no, it did get a remake. Yeah, I'm sorry. 13 still has it, but nobody liked 13. I think oh, now somebody's getting yelled at me. I think 13 is still too new for the remake treatment. They should throw it on Switch or something, like all three games on one. That, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. they probably won't do that. I didn't really like 13. I don't know. I haven't played 14. I actually haven't played. I didn't play either of the. I've played all the Final Fantasy games um, somewhat, but I haven't played 11 or 14 because I'm not really that big into MMORPGs. And I was very surprised to hear about 14 making a comeback. Um, but I don't know. These tiny holes might chase people away. The, mo <laughs> the most bleepity effing change in history. The new icon looks like shit. Uh, how are we supposed to take anything seriously anymore? Y'all crying over this. Hilarious. Not as hilarious as you crying about how an icon scares the living shit out of you. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of other icons in other Final Fantasy games that have a lot more holes than this. I think they're being trolled. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, it's hard to tell anymore. 
It is very hard to tell. Welcome to 2021. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah, going to put a little bow on it, ship it out. We are. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. And promise that when you wrap it up, you won't use polka dot paper. Oh, because the holes. Because the holes. The little holes. Oh, that took you way too long. It did. You're slipping. I am. Yep. I'm old. I'm old. <laughs>